How's it going, guys? So, I want to tell you some reasons why you shouldn't use Tinder. Why it's a waste of your time, a waste of your money. But at the same time, it's also something to kill the boredom at home during this quarantine season. And one of those things you can do is just swipe until you can't no more. Now, the reason I'm saying this is I've been a Tinder user, a very active Tinder user for about two plus years now, and it's all because of Will. Now, that's not a bad thing, because I didn't really know much about any sort of dating websites at the time. I didn't know about um, things like Bumble or, you know, Christian Mingle, things like that. But what I do know is that Tinder has been there for me during my darkest hours, such as when I'm bored, when I'm hungry, when I'm eating and I'm bored and hungry. But also, Tinder has been a very dark place. Now, for those of you that know what Tinder is, it's a dating app, obviously. You can get it on the computer, or you can get it on your mobile phone, or tablet, or probably something else. Maybe a console, I have no idea. But the reason that you shouldn't use Tinder is it's mainly a hookup app. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I have single-handedly been hit on. I mean, sure, I'll hit on someone. I'll say, you know, hi, you're cute, but I'm not going to keep pursuing just because I know that I'm ugly. I know I don't have a shot at anything, but I want to talk to you guys mainly about the dangers of Tinder. And aside from getting hit on, there's a possibility you can put your personal information on your bio if you're, you know, stupid. I've seen people put their phone numbers on it and expect to be hit up. But no, it probably doesn't work. Um, there's a ton of bots, for one thing. I, don't, I can't tell you how many girls named Abby that I've seen that aren't the Abby that I used to know. There's, um... <laughs> You get men on your feed, even when you select the women option, because by default, you know, when you're setting up your Tinder profile, Tinder asks you, do you want to see men? Do you want to see women? Or why not both? Now, I've never done both. There's been times where I've made a mistake in my location settings or in my miles settings, and I've accidentally switched up the, uh, uh, what is it called? I've switched up the preference, I think that's what it's called, yeah, the, the preference thing. And when you get a match with a man, I think I now understand why I'm the, like, immediately when I get a match, I'm instantly messaging the girl, like, five seconds later, hey, hi, these are acceptable answers, well, acceptable conversation starters, let's say, things like, Asking an opening question is also fine. I would find that valid. But something a girl, for some reason, wants you to say is, give me a bad pickup line, or smoke me up, or something incredibly stupid like that. Now, me being the safe Tinder user that I am now, with the lessons that I've learned from myself and my better judgment, I've learned not to wait a day and a half to hang out with a girl because she'll want to hang out with you she'll put her hands on you and she will try things with you now i'm not saying this is going to happen to everyone that uses tinder if you're a guy or if you're a girl because i know people are bisexual you know things go every which way on tinder and it's interesting you see people that say they're trans you see people that say they're lesbian you see people that say they're gay I mean, I have no problem with it, it's just not my preference. So make sure, you know, when you're on Tinder, make sure you get what you're signing up for, essentially. Now, if you're broke, you can only use the trial version of Tinder, which you get about, I don't know, 30 to 45 likes per 12 hours, which is terrible. So I would recommend buying Tinder Gold. I repeat, buying Tinder Gold. Now, the only reason I say this is because... Why not? I mean, you're going to be trying to date someone. Why not put some money into it? I mean, you're going to waste money on food for this person. You're going to waste money trying to help them with 
I don't know, a project or some shit like that. And it's not going to be good for you. So just get your money out right now. Start spending. Don't even worry about saving because Tinder's going to renew your subscription if you have a card. So just... These are just some life lessons I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, I hope you do enjoy. And please come back for more of these very bad <laughs> life lessons. Have a good day, guys. Please be safe. I know in Raleigh there's like a mandatory mask requirement, so I'm not leaving my apartment unless I'm going to a job interview, which I haven't had because none of these stupid jobs are, you know, calling me. Um, I've heard there's a apparent second wave of the virus that's, you know, spreading, uh, but the first wave never really ended, so I don't know how there could be a second wave when the first one didn't end. I don't know. But I hope you guys just please stay safe. Please don't make any dumb decisions. Please wear your masks if you can. And don't be like the people in Florida that are revolting. I mean, you can. It's it's a free free world, but just be smart, guys, please. I'll talk to you later.